this a lot, but how are you physically now after oh, the surgery? Yeah, no, I feel great. Um, at least for my day to day right now, um, I'm excited to see how it responds. Just being on my feet every day here, doing PFPs, throwing bullpens, and then obviously when we get into the games and the up downs with the innings. But right now, I I, I can't report anything negative. It's been great. At, w at what point did you start to throw in the off season? Um, it's it was the, the 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 plan behind the whole timing of the surgery was mostly based off the ability to have a normal off season. So. Um, everything I did was, you know, like every other previous off season. So um, it's usually right, right around the holidays, a little bit before you start picking up a ball and um, getting the arm going again. So it was, it was the same this year. Do you feel like this will be a normal spring training? Like you can pitch every, you know, every X day and be ready for opening day? Um, standing here right now, yeah. Um, the biggest thing is going to be. Um, all of us, the coaching staff and the training staff getting together every day and seeing how my body responds. And um, we don't foresee anything going on, but you, you, you're going to have to wait and see. And um, those muscles are still getting stronger and still rebuilding up. So um, I hope I hope it'll be a very smooth spring, but that's, that's the case for everybody in camp right now. And um, every camp I've been a part of. Another obvious one, but how hard has it been for you that, you know, the club makes this kind of commitment to you with a contract, and obviously you want to pitch well, and, and it just for so far has not worked out the way you envisioned. Yeah, it's it's just, um, you know, you, you sign with going into that season with such high expectations, not only for yourself but for the team and say it's been everything but that um so it has been frustrating um you know the uh, sitting and watching a team from your house is is one of the worst feelings that you can do as a, a professional athlete but um it 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 reignites you it really does i mean there's there's this um there's this energy about it that when you feel like you're missing out, um, you feel like you're away, that um, you get this added motivation that, you know, and I don't think you can you can get any other way. And it makes you hungry. It makes you appreciate when you are out on the field. So, um, you know, you have to put all that aside of the, you know, feeling like you're not living up to expectations and doing those sorts of things and just know that um, you can't fix it and you have the only way to you can't fix what happened the only way to fix it is to to be good going forward and um, you know that's that's the only thing I'm my visions on right now is to to perform um, this upcoming season when, when you're in that situation and you're I, I assume you don't watch every game but you probably watch watch a lot of games no, maybe watch, watch a lot of everyone, yeah. watch a lot of other games probably too do you do any kind of like just passive scouting of other young players that are on other teams that you maybe I'll pitch against them next year and um, you're just watching baseball you know and I think I think being around this game since I was a little kid um, you just process everything that's going on and you, your subconscious almost takes over and watching the games on TV you're kind of playing along with with um, what you would be doing in this situation and um, it's it's something I actually learned going through Tommy John was to try to keep that part of your brain sharp and um, don't don't just kind of get in this almost like what I envision retirement to be like just kind of letting your your mind get away from baseball you kind of try to stay in in the mix of it as much as you can and um, play along with it and uh, I, I do think it helps you once you get back to to be sharp and those instincts stay sharp um, as you go throughout the season. Last year, you were named the opening day pitcher, and then right after that, you, you got hurt. Is that a goal for you this year, to, to be the opening day pitcher? Oh, no. Uh, far from. I mean, I, um, I would – I'm not going to speculate on any of that, but I – I just want to go out and pitch and, and be healthy. There's personal goals really um, go out the window when you're this far, you know, behind of where you feel like you should be, and you just you, you have to you have to really just kind of take baby steps and um, 
rearrange your priorities and just try to get healthy and, and um I just I just want to play. I just want to pitch and um you know see just I just want to get in that competitive atmosphere again and just go compete and and you know you don't worry about all those little things that that you do think about when things are going well.